if you want to save money and have the best looking fashion trends in your closet, who doesn't? <laughs> Maria Provenzano is here with a great DIY project that will make your head turn. And I love what you're doing I, with this because this is so, so in. It's very, very it's in. So expensive. Yes, yeah, it's very expensive. Well, detail. not the way you do it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, because you're going to show us how to do it and save money. For a fraction of the price. So Valentino came out with these studded shoes and people were blown away. It started obviously on the runways and then... You, as you can see, the celebrities are wearing them. Mm -hmm. Every fashion blogger is wearing them. People went crazy, and it started in their fall collection, transitioned to the spring, and then it just continues just to be, it becomes a staple, yeah. like the Valentino yeah. Red almost. Right. It's like a, a rock, thing that they're known star, for. So, yeah, exactly, right. and you can do this yourself on all of your accessories. It's really, really fun and really easy. Okay, so how do we get started? Okay, so of course you can do it on I have a wallet and shoes and a bag and actually they have a fall bag that came out this for mm -hmm. this coming up fall mm -hmm. and just looks you know just like looks it. just like mm -hmm. it and the biggest thing is doing this little um, like handle here and uh, yeah as you can see right there it's oh. look at yeah that. the green is really in wow. and I got this on clearance okay. so okay. <laughs> yes bargain shopping <laughs> anyways so what you need is this industrial strength glue this stuff is so strong and e six thousand yes oh, right. it's amazing and then studs now you guys I want I really wanted them to be gold and I could only find silver so okay. I actually spray painted these and it's just a you know really easy process you want to make sure you go outside mm -hmm. and work on a covered surface and spray them about 10 to 12 inches away with an even spray and that will easily cover them and there are going to be two options when you get studs you want to look for ones that have the flat bottom there are some that have like little legs on them almost mm, that they oh. use them for clo clothes like it goes through fabric and then, and then you, you like clamp them sure. so these are the ones you want for this and i'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it on a bag uh, what i like to do is to pre-place them but i kind of measure them out and on this particular bag um, which is sort of like a, a leathery type. Mm -hmm. I u actually use a piece of chalk and I'll just kind of measure it out, kind of where I want it to be, and then making sure it goes with this, you know, the other mm -hmm. side. Right, right, right. Right. Yeah, sure. so it's symmetrical. And so then I take my very, very strong glue and I, this is the, what I found to be the easiest way instead of trying to, because it kind of will keep coming out. And it gets stringy too. It does yeah. get stringy, yes. Um, no, I don't smell, does this have a strong odor? It does, Unless you it, just it, can't yeah, smell, I have smell it. it. Yeah, okay. we're, yeah, we have pretty good ventilation, but yeah, I would keep a window open. So then all you do, you've got a nice little tight shot on that so you can kind of see, and you just put it on the back. And I'm telling you, this is, this is the best way to a do it. A dabble do ya. Oh, a little dabble do ya. And then you just put it on your mark. Look at that. Oh, oh, okay. on your, on mark. Don't put it on, on mark. mark. Don't there put it on mark. Yes, but after you mark it, <laughs> actually what you can do is make sure to place them on the marks before you glue, mm -hmm. and then that way you know, and then maybe, you know, go ahead and, and what is it, what it, they say, uh, measure twice, twice, cut, cut once. once. Yeah, so that's kind of, <laughs> kind of the same idea, right? And then, yeah, going into, um, so, this, this uh, takes a while to dry, though. The, thank the, you, so, yes. Yeah, and, and sometimes they'll slide, so you have to. Yes, so it take the drying time right, right. will be you just you can kind of keep going, but go back and make sure they're kind of staying in line because they like you said they'll slide exactly. You're right. Can you do this on clothing? Yes, will that, will you this can. Um, and I actually have done that on sweaters before where I've put them on here, but I will say, and it will stay because this Ew. stuff is really strong. But if you're going to do it on, it, I think it would depend on the material. Right. Um, because if you find the ones with the little legs on them, you can stick them through stick and Stick those through them. and those are going to hold yeah. them. I love what you did oh, to this blue shoe. after shoes again. Aren't these yeah, fun? Shoes, yeah. I know. <laughs> so you have one plain shoe and then one shoe this that you covered. Yeah, so yeah. we're going to go ahead and do it's this gorgeous. one. So when I'm doing the shoes, like when I did these ones over here, I actually like to use a permanent marker to kind of mark where they're all gonna be. One, to make sure I have enough studs, right. and just to make sure I'm kind of on track with everything. Mm -hmm. And then, so for this, we don't need to do that. These little guys come in a nice little strip that is already, you can see they're all strung together. Well, it's like they saw us coming. Yeah, and so Christine, actually, if you can help me, all you do is like a line of glue that will go all the way across. Okay. And this just, yeah. Nice and you bought them line. in, do you cut that strip to the length you want or does it come? You know, in? they it comes like, we were lucky because it actually was like a perfect fit. fit? Oh, really? But these come, as you can kind of uh, see, these actually do 
come off like that. Oh. Yeah. So if you if it was you wanted to do um, a shorter strip, mm -hmm. you could actually just take them off and then cut the and actual the, cord. Because okay. we're gonna have to cut this little tail off too okay. of the end. And so then you just great job, Christina. Look and at you. yep. Mm, and so, gold star. thank you. And then we're just going to stand gold, here and wait for it to dry. Gold studded. <laughs> yeah. Gold studded, gold yes. Studded. Yeah. And so, as you can see, just you have to keep it in place until it dries. And just, it'll take a few minutes. So, you know, yeah. just think of your to do list, uh, watch <laughs> a show. Yeah. yeah. I'm always thinking of my to do yes, list. Yes, exactly. Nothing seems to get dead on These my are list. great. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> right. and well, they're a good. fraction of the cost because I know there's fraction of the cost. shoes cost up to twelve hundred dollars. They do. They're and I mean, this is how much? Net. And yeah. these will cost pff, around you know? twenty twenty five. How do you All know right. they're twelve hundred dollars? Because I, I they're on my she reads wish a lot of uh, fashion. I, do. I read lots of fashion <laughs> magazines. I do. Okay. You can read our Pinterest page and uh, stop by there and pick up more tips, or you can visit Maria's website as well. There it is. We share it with you at the bottom of the screen. We're coming back with the circus. Don't wow. go away. <laughs>